Hey y'all, and welcome to the Sprinkle Factor YouTube channel where we cover everything culinary. This is Chef Sprinkle, and of course, I am back with another delicious recipe. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and join our Sprinkle Squad. Today, we're going to be making King Crab Shrimp and Grits with Dip and Dash Buttercream Sauce, y'all. Follow along, and I'll take you there. First thing I am going to do is I am going to deshell some king crab, y'all. Fairly simple. And I'm going to peel some jumbo shrimp. And then we are going to start to make the shrimp and grits. Now, uh, make sure that knuckle that you take off at the bottom of the crab leg it is plenty of meat in there, okay? So don't waste that. You can toss that into your grits, make it a part of your meal. But it is definitely meat in there. So we're going to get all of the meat, y'all. Every little piece of meat that you guys see in the crab legs, don't waste it. It can totally go into this dish. So I'm going to finish prepping my seafood. Make sure that your seafood is clean, okay? So make sure you clean your seafood before you cook it, okay? Um, that is very very important scrub your crab legs rinse your shrimp make sure you're using cool water and you'll be good to go Now, I'm going to keep some pieces of crab separate, y'all. We're going to use those for garnish that have not been deshelled. But let's go ahead and start our grits. So we're going to start with a cup of water and a cup of milk. Um, and then we're going to toss in a chicken bouillon cube. For some reason, it's really hard to season grits, grits once they're cooked. Um, it's more so better to incorporate your season into the actual grain as it's cooking. So, of course, we are going to use a, um, a little of our just a sprinkle all-purpose seasoning in our grits and then here what we're doing is we're going to start our um dip and dash butter sauce cream sauce okay um it is very very flavorful so this butter sauce um is intended for seafood and other items um you know that you eat you can put it on vegetables you can put it on i personally love it on lamb chops it's delicious on everything as y'all can see i put flour but i am going to put the ingredients in the description so don't worry um but yeah literally it's so so freaking delicious it's very 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 flavorful you have hints of heat you have hints of salt you have hints of sweet um you have hints of garlic and onion literally it takes your mouth um, to a new level when you're eating it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get our grits started. I put in our grits, y'all. It's okay to use instant grits. We're pumping these up with so much flavor. Um, you don't have to sit and cook grits for 30 minutes to an hour. We're not going to do that, okay? Um, but I did add in some butter for richness and we're going to cover those and cook them on low for a little while um, until they are done. So back to our cream sauce. We created the roux. We put the flour in. And then now we are going to add um, our milk. So we're going to start the basis of our cream sauce. So we're going to add our milk in just a second. Once we get this all the way incorporated, we're also going to add our heavy cream. As you guys know, when putting in heavy cream, because you could totally make a, um, a white sauce with just milk, but putting in heavy cream literally makes it a lot richer, literally 10 times richer. So don't skip this step, okay? Um, the next thing we're going to add is our two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. So in a sense, it is sort of an Alfredo sauce, but we're going to use it on our shrimp and grits. And trust me, it is totally delicious. The next thing that we are going to do is just add a little sprinkle. The um, Dip and Dash butter sauce has tons and tons of flavor, um, but because we added in the milk, it diluted it just a little bit. So just add a sprinkle of the Just a Sprinkle all-purpose seasoning. Taste your sauce make sure you have it at your seasoning level, you know, the seasoning level that you prefer. Um, and then you're all set. The sauce is done, y'all. Um, what I am going to do is I am going to put a link in the description. You guys can click on that link and it will direct you to how 
how to order your dip and dash butter sauce okay um make sure you guys tell dame that the sprinkle factory chef sprinkle sent y'all he's a really 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 sweet nice guy y'all go check out his instagram and his youtube channel he has a mukbang channel um and he does have some really dope recipes and things like that y'all so make sure y'all go check him out um so the next thing that we're gonna do is we are going to start to cook our seafood for our king crab shrimp and grits we're gonna season it with just a sprinkle all-purpose seasoning of course um so we're gonna go ahead and season the shrimp make sure you season both sides okay we want these to be really pretty and really freaking flavorful so once we have these seasoned up y'all i also have a pan that is heating up on the stove with just like a tablespoon of butter we're going to start those but i also put a little seasoning on the king crab as well we're going to get the butter nice and hot y'all and then we are going to put our shrimp in and we're going to cook them about three to four minutes per side um shrimp is really really fast as far as cooking goes um and then once that happens we're going to add in our king crab and we will be almost done. Once we get some good color on these, you guys, we are going to hit it with some of the Dippin' Dash butter sauce. Trust me on this one. And then once you have everybody soaked in the deliciousness, we are going to plate our king crab shrimp and grits. Not much to it, y'all. Um, once we do this, we make sure that we garnish with the green onions. And just like you guys saw, slice them on a diagonal. It just gives more of a show, basically. Um, sprinkle it with a little food glitter, a.k.a. parsley. And that is going to pretty much sum it up, y'all. Very pretty. Very, very, very flavorful. And I can guarantee that it is going to be a crowd pleaser for your family, for your co-workers, for your friends, anybody. They're going to love it. They are going to tear it up, okay? okay. Now, before I leave, y'all, let's slow it down with a slow-mo.
super simple y'all like everything we do on this channel make sure you guys take pictures i would love 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 to see pictures of your creations tag me on instagram and i will definitely repost them i love y'all for watching i love y'all so so much as my grandma would say of course this is finger licking time thank y'all so much for watching again don't forget to like don't forget to comment make sure you guys subscribe join the sprinkle squad we're lit over here and share with all your family and friends y'all and of course like always i'll see y'all next time